guys. So today I'm going to show you guys a quick arm workout that you can do with these wonderful exercise bands. I'm sure most of you have at least one of these lying around at home. doesn't matter if it has handles or not. That's completely optional. Um, also, I have one of these uh, little straps that you can put in a door, but if you don't have one of those, that's fine too. So we're going to start with a chest press. Um, so if you have one of these straps, you can put your band through it and then just close it in a door. If you don't have a strap, then just tie a knot in the middle of your band and then close it in the door that way. Okay, so then go ahead and grab your handles. We're gonna take a split stance here. So one foot in front of the other, arms are up at shoulder height, and then you're just gonna press those arms forward in control to come right back. Press it forward in control to come back. We're gonna do 12 of these. As you move here, we wanna make sure the head stays right in line with the spine. So make sure your head's not starting to creep forward as we press. We wanna keep that nice tall posture. And let's keep going with this. We really wanna control that band in both directions, both as we press out and especially as we come back in. Let's get three, two more times here, two, and last one, perfect. And then we're gonna flip it right around opposite muscle group for a row. So you can leave your band right where it's at. We're gonna take a little bit of a squat position. So we're gonna do a basic row here, pull those hands right to the ribs, and then release back out. Squeeze the shoulder blades when you pull. Really try not to arch the back here so it's easy to really stick that butt out. Make sure your hips stay right in line with the rest of your spine. It's also gonna engage the glutes a little bit more that way. So as we keep rowing, shoulder blades move down into the back pockets. So make sure we're not hunching up to the ears with this. We want those shoulders down and away. Three more times here. Three. Let's get two more. And last one. Perfect. Go ahead and release. If you like the tension of that band, you can take it out of the door and we'll keep using it, or if that's the only band that you have. I'm gonna switch to a different band. So now we're gonna do a bicep curl. Standing on one leg, it's gonna work the balance a little bit. So band under one foot, other foot is lifted, or you can have that toe down for support, and then we're just gonna bicep curl just like that. So keep those elbows glued to your sides. We're gonna go two more on this foot, and let's get one more, and then switch your feet if you're on one leg. If you're not, then just keep going. We're gonna get six on this side. So again, elbows glued to the sides, so we're really isolating those biceps. Three, nice tall posture as you're standing here. Tummy stays pulled in. Last one here, perfect. If this band feels comfortable, we're gonna go right into a lateral raise. You can stay on that same leg. We're gonna take those arms out to the side, right back down, out to the side, right back down. If this band feels too heavy, you can always drop one side and then just do one arm at a time, okay? If the band feels pretty comfortable, we'll keep going. Let's get two more times here. And one more. Perfect. And then switch your feet. We'll get six on the other side. Or you, and you can switch arms if you were just doing one arm at a time. So again, we want tall posture here. Belly button stays pulled in. And as those arms go up to the side, make sure we're not hunching the shoulders. You can actually think about pressing those shoulders down as the arms lift. Two more here. And let's get one more. Perfect. And then from here, we are going to drop one side of that band. We're going to take the arm here. So elbow points up to the ceiling. And then from here, we're just going to straighten that arm up overhead. Another option with this, if this band feels too heavy, is we can take this down onto the knees and do the same movement here. The nice thing about the bands is that you can kind of control um, the tension by where you put your um, foot or your knee on the band. We're going to go four more times here. Three, last two, and last one. Perfect. And then switch sides. So if you're on your knees, stay on your knees. If you're on one foot, then you can switch to the other foot. Here we go. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. So we want to keep this upper part of the arm as still as you can. You can even kind of put your hand there to hold it steady if you want, just to make sure that that um, upper arm is staying still. We want to think about just hinging right here from the elbow. So we're really working the tricep. It's not a shoulder press. It's a tricep press. We're going to go four more times here. Four, three, last two, 
And last one, and we're gonna finish with one more exercise. We're gonna hit the upper back and the posterior deltoids just a little bit more, just to work on that posture. So take your band, wrap it once around your hands, and then twice around your hands. So those arms are straight in front of your shoulders. And then from here again, find your balance on one leg. If you want, we're gonna take those arms straight out to the side. Straight out to the side, perfect. So again, tall posture here. Same thing as when we were doing the row. You wanna think about moving those shoulders down the back. Let's get two more here. And last one, if you're on one leg, switch your feet, let's keep flowing with it. Open and close. Squeezing those scapula down into the back pockets. Three more times here, keep that tall posture. Last two. And last one. Perfect, you can release, nicely done. So that's a nice little quick arm workout. You guys can go through that again if you want. You can do it a couple more times if you want. We just did one set of 12 of basically everything, but you can add a few more sets, a few more reps if you want. Modify it as you need to. I hope you guys enjoy it. Have fun.